Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome ACCT Chair and Parkland College Trustee Thomas M. Bennett, accompanied by ACCT President and CEO Noah Brown. Good evening, trustees, community college leaders, regional awardees, and special guests. Everyone, please join me in thanking the All College Choir from Niagara County Community College for entertaining us this evening with their outstanding music. Absolutely. Welcome to ACCT's 2010 Award Gala. Before we begin, I'd like to ask for your help for just a moment to recognize part of our Parkland College family. Our president, Dr. Tom Ramage, board chair, mentor, and good friend, Jim Ayers. I also ask for your help to recognize and thank my family for their support and sacrifice these past years. My beautiful daughter, Megan. She's there on the left side there. Thank you. Her husband, Phil. Thank you. And I think you heard their daughter and our first grandchild, Kelsey. Thank you. We're, we're thinking good things here. We may see a future community college student, trustee, or president somewhere in her future. My son, Andrew, who just married his, Andrew, there we go, who just married his beautiful wife, Lauren. June 26, newlyweds, tremendous, fantastic. And to my beautiful wife, Kathy, who has been with me for almost 30 years. Thank you. Yes, we were married at age four. And again, thank you for your support and sacrifice these past years. Tonight, ACCT continues the tradition of honoring individuals and colleges that exemplify the very best in community college leadership. Assisting me this evening with the awards presentation is ACCT President and CEO, Noah Brown. Yes. Before proceeding, the hotel has asked us to share with you that there will be construction on one of the highways leading to the airport on Saturday. Whoa. We suggest that you consider adding a half hour to your travel time to ensure that you arrive at the airport on time to make your flights back home. So please be sure to instruct your driver to take Lakeshore Highway since we've been informed that this road will be open. So please keep that in mind. I need to do one more thing. I introduced several of our good friends and family, but I'd like to introduce or have basically recognize all of our friends at Parkin College and our family at both table three and table four. We need to do that. Please, if you would. Thank you so much. Before we begin tonight's awards presentation, I would like to take a moment to recognize ACCT's newest lifetime members. ACCT lifetime members give community, junior, and technical colleges the opportunity to acknowledge outstanding and retiring board members and to pay special tribute to the members' many contributions to their institutions. Tonight, we recognize four trustees who have given honorable and distinguished service to their colleges, their communities, and to ACCT. It is now my pleasure to recognize the new lifetime members with us tonight. Arthur C. Anthonison from Orange County Community College in New York. Walter Howold from Coast Community College District in California. James Smith from Midlands Technical College in South Carolina. and Leslie Thonison from State Center Community College District in California. Thank you. Arthur, James, Walt, and Leslie, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. 
Thank you and congratulations again. Now I'd like to call Noel Brown to the podium to announce a very special recognition. Good evening. I have the special pleasure and honor to make yet one more recognition before we get to our awardees. For the past 10 years, Dr. George Boggs has served as President and Chief Executive Officer of the American Association of Community Colleges. And George is retiring at the end of the year, and I know that George and his wife Anne are returning to California to build a house and enjoy a little time off from what has been a Herculean labor over many years of helping lead the community college movement. George has received many awards and honors over his long career. He's written numerous books and publications and articles, uh, but most, most notably he's also received the Marie Y. Martin Chief Executive Officer Award from ACCT. But it's George's long partnership with ACCT and his unwavering support for the cause of trusteeship that I am pleased to present George with a lifetime membership in ACCT. George, would you please approach the podium? Let me, uh, let me just read the plaque to you. Uh, this lifetime membership is presented to George R. Boggs, American Association of Community Colleges, in recognition of your service and leadership on behalf of community colleges, October 2010. Great. George. Thank you very much. Thank Well, this was certainly a surprise, uh, but thank you very much, uh, Noah and Tom and, uh, and trustees throughout the country. It's been my distinct pleasure to serve as the president of AACC, and I value my friendship with Noah and the good work that AACC and ACCT do together for our member colleges and our students in Washington, D.C. Uh, our colleges are never, have never been more visible than they are now, but the challenges before us are never greater. And I thank you for all that you do in your local communities for students uh, uh, across the country, but also I thank you for what you do to help us uh, with our advocacy in Washington, D.C. The battle is not over, so let's keep going. Thank you. Let's give another round of applause for our 2010 lifetime members, please. Thank you. We'd also like to recognize trustee trailblazers who have served for over 40 years. I ask trustee trailblazers who are present to please stand to be recognized. Need the lights. Please join me in giving them an extraordinary individuals a round of applause. <laughs> Tremendous. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to begin the 2010 ACCT Award Association Awards presentations with a Professional Board Staff Member Award. As with all of tonight's awards, the five candidates were honored earlier by their individual regents with an ACCT Regional Award. We ask all of tonight's nominees to please stand as your name is called and remain standing until all candidates are announced. And now our first award. The ACCT Professional Board Staff Member Association Award is presented to a board staff member in recognition of exemplary commitment and service to a community college board. 
Each of the five nominees for the annual ACCT Association Award has been recognized for exemplary service at the regional level. The 2010 ACCT Professional Board Staff Member Regional Awardees are from the Central Region, Linda Peltier from the Edison Community College in Ohio. From the Northeast Region, Ann Bergamo from Cumberland County College in New Jersey. From the Pacific Region, Dr. Christian Teeter from the Coast Community College District in California. From the Southern Region, Natalie Gamble from Trident Technical College in South Carolina. And from the Western Region, Coral Richards from the Western Nebraska Community College in Nebraska. Thank you all for your hard work and dedication. You are all invaluable to keeping our boards functioning smoothly. Please be seated. Noah, may I have the envelope, please? On behalf of the Association of Community College Trustees, I am pleased to present the 2010 ACCT Professional Board Staff Member Award to Coral Richards. <laughs> Coral Richards' dedicated service to Western Nebraska Community College and its Board of Trustees spans half a century, from 1960 to the present. She is currently in her 51st year as a professional board staff member, an incredible tenure. A person of genuine integrity, superior work ethic, and high values, she strives to be a positive influence to all. Coral has played a significant and lasting role in the growth and development of the Western Nebraska Community College. She says she has a purpose in life, and that college is that purpose. My goodness, this is a very, very tremendous honor. Thank you so very much. It is a tremendous honor for me to be a member of a group of prestigious community college leaders. To receive an award for doing something <clears throat> that one loves to do, that is enjoyable and rewarding is very humbling. There are so many people who have touched my life during the, during the past 51 years with Western Nebraska Community College and who have helped me to learn and to grow. Hopefully, I have made a contribution to the growth and development not only of Western Nebraska Community Colleges, but community colleges as a whole. Thank you again to my WCCA Board of Governors, the Western Region, and the association for this recognition. Thank you. <laughs> 